This is Sherry Boschert reporting for Global Medical News Network at the annual meeting of the American Academy of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology in San Francisco. In the late breaker oral session, Dr. Katrina Allen and Dr. Lau Gurren presented a study on whether skin prick testing thresholds might replace oral food challenges in screening of infants for allergy. We're very interested to know whether the, the skin prick testing that's done in clinical situation is also ap applicable to the community situation. So we want to know amongst kids in the general community whether uh, the size of the wheels of a skin prick test predicts whether they're going to have food allergy. So in a clinical based setting, the larger the wheel size, the more likely the child is to have food allergy. We didn't know whether this is true only for those who are high risk infants who are coming into clinics or whether this applied to just generally selected children from the general population. And uh, what we did then was use models to uh, determine the association between wheel size and um, the risk of food allergy. Um, and from those, again, we were able to confirm that in a community setting there's a strong relationship between the wheel size and the risk of food allergy um, and therefore children with a very large wheel size um, who've never been exposed to the food before and who are not, not eating it um, are potentially allergic and continue to avoid the food. Um, which is something that concurs with um, the current clinical practice as well. What this essentially means is we've always had a, a question mark about whether the large wheel size pertain to any, any patient who comes into clinic or any patient who generally doesn't have a risk factor for food allergy. Do skin prick tests, are they robust across clinical populations as well as general populations? And what we're really saying is yes, it does really correlate that if you have a wheel size that's very large, you really don't need to have a food challenge to confirm that you have food allergy. The converse is also true, it also suggests that children who have low skin prick test wheel sizes who've never eaten the food really should have a food allergy confirmed by a specialist allergist.